if you guys really want to optimize and people are want to you know go back and forth um with what's the best paragon to do for items then that's one thing but if you come down here this is great so this is the most optimal thing here and i'm going to show you guys how to use this so um What's my Paragon? I'm Paragon 1072. Let's input my information. My desired Paragon, let's say I want to get to 2500, right? As the example, this is by the end of the season. So the greater rift I want to do is, let's go all the way up. Let's say we want to do 90s, right? Number of players is one, that's me. Average completion time is what you want to complete it in. So let's say I complete it in an average of two minutes. And then this is average time, uh, in town so when you come back remember town is lava you don't want to spend a whole lot of time in town so you come here let's say i spend 20 seconds in town right fully pooled we're gonna say yes because we are and let's say i play three hours a day so this is how this reads so this means that i need this much xp to get from my current paragon to the paragon that i want to get to this is how much xp per hour i'm gonna get 1.45 trillion this is how many hours I need, and this is how many days I need. So what you can do is, is adjust this, right? So let's say I complete this now in 1.5 minutes, so a minute and a half. Now look at how much my days changed. Now look how much XP I gave per hour. But let's go back to two minutes, right? So I'm gaining 1.45 XP per hour, but let's say I go up to GR95s. But instead of completing GR95s in two minutes, I complete GR95s in one and a half minutes. So look how much less days I need and how much more EXP I'm gaining. I'm gaining almost 1 trillion more XP per hour if I can complete GR95s in a minute and a half as opposed to GR90s in two minutes. So this is just a really good calculator to determine what you can do. So like for me, with my current character and my build, I can do GR 100s in two minutes, right? So if I do that, I'm getting 2.37. Now, let's say I go back down to 95s, but I'm doing them at 1.5 again. So I'm getting 2.36. So let's go to two and I'm going to 100. So I'm getting the same amount of XP per hour if I'm doing a GR 100 in two minutes or if I'm doing a GR95 in one and a half minutes. So when you think about it, which one is more optimal? Well, the GR95, right? Because the GR95 in 1.5 minutes, which is a minute and 30 seconds, I get the same amount of XP. So why would I do a GR100? I'm getting the same XP. So like, so when it comes to like those kind of numbers, you really optimize it. But if you're talking about just quality of items, then yes, you just do whatever the highest GR is you can do in less than two minutes. So like if you're doing 105s, then I would just do 105s and just flat out, you know, just ball out from there. But otherwise, like this is just such a good tool that you can do. And then of course, you know, as you play more hours, everything changes, right? But it's a really good tool, man. It's a great shout out to the to the Maxwell guys for optimizing your um, your XP per hour, which is just really, really cool. I... Uh, I use it all the time, especially towards the end, like after I've done all my builds and everything, I got like my main character augmented through the roof. Now it's like, okay, now I really want to push for Paragon. That's what I'm going to do. Yo, Jen, man, uh, Tyrone, appreciate this up to the channel. So yeah, man, it's, uh, it's a good tool, but when it comes to the debate about the item stuff, just do whatever you can the fastest. That's just the best way to do it. So if you guys did enjoy this like little explanation on how to efficiently farm Paragon certain GRs, like the video, comment down below. What do you guys think? And as always, stay gaming. Catch you in the next one. Peace.